Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's, in today's tutorial, we're going to be building the Simulvente 7546M43. So, so this was a pretty heavily armored, for Italian standards anyway, self-propelled gun that was basically modified uh, to this present state by the Germans, which were the only users of this vehicle, and in my opinion, probably the best Italian vehicle kind of of the war. It's also kind of one of my favorites, it just looks cool. Heavily armored, nice big 75mm gun, German design, don't remember exactly which gun it was, but pretty punchy nonetheless, so let's get started building. So in pretty normal fashion, we're going to be starting with one dark oak fence gate, have a row space of three, place down one more, then we're going to skip a block, then place down two birch stairs back to back, And in this uh, block in between that we skip, I'm going to place down an upside down netbook stair. Then I'm going to dig a row of two and fill this in with a netbook. Next, next we're going to place down two birch stairs back to back. And then an upside down netbook stair. And a net brick uh, slab right off the stair. And lastly, for this layer, sort of, we'll place down weather skull and skulls on the space of two. And next, we're going to put the floor of the tank in. So, I'm going to need these bridge trapdoors. And we're going to start right off that stair. I'm going to go back to that stair as well. So we're right there, right there, and we're right there, right here. And then bridge this gap in between. Now we'll see that done. We can move on with some item frames and stuff like that. So I'm going to take these ender pearls and some item frames. I'm going to place our item frames basically on all the stairs. And put ender pearls right there for the road wheels. Sorry, yeah, road wheels rather. We've got small ones. Continuing on the other side, of course. Let's try that again. There we go. So once you have all that all done, we can move on to the second layer. So we're going to first start out placing down our blocks. So I'm going to place down one smooth stance one block on top of each of the um, dark oak fence gates. Then we're going to build a row of three bottom smooth sandstone slabs right in between. Next, we're going to need to take smooth sandstone stairs, place down row of three right behind the slabs. And behind this sandstone block, we'll place down a birch slab, a birch up slab. I'm also going to place down a birch sign right off the side of the block and right off the side of the slab. And we're also going to place down an frame right here. And a dark trapdoor flipped upwards. On the front. Now I believe we can also put this in. Oops. Okay, there we go. Moving on back, we're going to take stripped birch wood right uh, right behind the. Uh, birch op slabs I placed from last layer, and from this uh, from the sides, we're going to place down. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be it. So we're ending right on this stair here. 
and we're also going to take um, Bart slab, just like we did in the front, and Bart's up slab, and then right behind this one, we'll place down another brick. The bottom slab, right on top of the up slab, and the brick from the last layer. So we're now going to take our sandstone blocks and place down row three, right between, or right on top of the last row of trap doors. So I'm going to fill this. Space up. Like so. And now we can move on to the back and sort the sides as well. So we're going to place down one, two, and three birch fence gates. Facing towards the back on the right side, we can have one oak sign on the opposite side. We can have a uh, weather uh, skull, skull. So focusing on the sides here, we're going to do this kind of the same thing we did at the front. Uh, birch, uh, birch sign right off the upside, and the birch sign right behind that one on the nether brick one. And also, just like we did from the front, we'll take a blank, basically a blank uh, item frame right on the side. We're then going to take a birch button, skip one block, place down. And in the front, we'll place down one on the front, our first uh, stripped birch. We're now going to take our birch uh, trapdoors, place down row three, and flip them up for the add on side armor. So once you have that all done, I believe that will finish up the second layer. Then we can move on to layer number three. I'm going to start this by placing down our blocks and we'll just go from there. So on this first row of sandstone blocks from last layer, we're going to place down um, both sides stripped birch wood and then a birch of trapdoor right in between. Behind this, we're going to build three rows of three. This is a new sandstone box. We're moving back towards the front. We're going to take a smooth sandstone stair, place down the stair facing uh, just on top of the middle stair from the last layer. And this is going to be so the face of the stair is towards the front of the tank. We're then going to take three smooth sandstone bottom slabs, built right off the Face of it. One, two, three. And with the third weather skeleton skull, kind of place like this. So once you have that in place, I'll basically finish up the gun kind of area. So we're then going to take our trapdoors, place down a trapdoor on top of the smooth sandstone stairs. From last layer, flip them upwards so they uh, are added on to the, the strip spruce. And I'm also going to take uh, these trapdoors right on top of the up slab from the last layer and the sandstone, first sandstone block. So I believe that'll basically be the front of it. Now we can move on to the sides. So for this, we're going to build a row of four sandstone walls right off the sides of all the blocks we just placed. We're going to take our bird shoppers again, place down row three, going off the bottom of each of those walls. And right above the trap doors we placed from last there. We're also going to take an item frame. We're going to place it carefully right off the back of the second Bridge uh, trap door. If I say put stained glass paint inside. So once you have that done, we can put down a spruce bottom slab right behind each of the rows of walls. 
Okay, it looks like we're not going to place anything on the walls directly, so we can debug it. Not much to do. Here we go. So we want north and south to be tall, except for the space in between the first and the last ones. We also want the uh, sides of the walls that are facing towards the locks to be tall, but the ones facing towards the trapdoor to be none. And these middle ones can also be switched to up, true. So once you have that all done, we can move on towards the engine deck. So for this, we're going to need a few new blocks and portal frame, and a light gray bed. So we'll write down these metal two blocks, we'll place down two end portal frames, and on each of the sides, a light gray bed. And for the pillow, we're just going to switch this part foot. And right behind these, we're going to take a birch slab and some snow. So right behind each of the beds, we're going to place down the birch slabs and behind the end portal frames. We're going to layer up some slow, up some snow. Like that. Looks about right. So behind the birch, uh, sorry, the spruce, Slab, we'll place down an end rod. And a spruce slab right behind that, which will be right on top of the uh, spruce slab, or birch slab from last there. And lastly, place down a light gray carpet on top of the bottom nether brick slab. And some heads, so basically not really having, in my opinion, really a problem with using custom heads if I'm already using sort of a debug stick. I'll leave the command in the description or the link to it. But as it's the sand, skeletons will look just fine, but I like the color of this kind of better, obviously. So I should all those down. But in general I don't think I'm gonna get to invisible item frames. I still I guess debating on that since it's a vanilla command, but I kinda of lost it somewhere can't really find it, but anyway, it is what it is. So moving on towards the front, we have to basically put in the roof, and that'll basically do it. So starting off, we're going to place down a row of three heads on the first three blocks that we placed, like so. Then we're going to need smooth sand on slabs, birch slabs, daylight detector, and some layered snow. So on this middle smooth sandstone block, place down a smooth sandstone slab. At the each side, place down a birch, uh, a birch slab. Behind this row three, we'll place down a row three daylight. Oh my, just messed that up, didn't I? Okay. I'll guess I'll fix it here. Just going over this one more time. Okay, east none. There we go. Oh yeah. Anyway, so we should layer up to snow right behind all the daylight sensors. And I'll basically do it for the roof. Engine deck has been done. Just making sure. So basically last thing to do, we got some optics on the left side. Place down an item frame and a black bed inside of it. So then we can put in our Breda machine gun here. We'll place down as it's gonna be on the left side, 
So on this uh, birch fence, I'm oh, sorry, on this birch slab, I'm going to place down a dark oak fence gate. And in the front of it, we'll place down a chain. Take our debug stick and have the uh, gate to be in wall true. And then go to debug in a button and a lever. So for this one, I'll use a placer box and I guess just follow my lead here. So once you have that all done, I'll basically finish off our Semovente 7546M43, I believe. Oh, I did spot one little thing we did wrong here. So this button here should be on the first, on the last birch, a strip birch block here. Okay. So basically, with that fixed, now that we'll finish off our Semovente. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and see you in the next video.